We've all been there. You've just been on a spirit flight before and told yourself, I'm not doing that shit again. As a wise sage once told us, the greatest teacher failure is. Well, like you, I've learned from my mistakes with spirit, and I'm here to pass on my knowledge to you. First, let's listen to some of the biggest complaints heard by some people who have flown Spirit Airlines. All right, so let's begin with the biggest complaint, luggage costs. People are sometimes sticker shocked when told the price of how much it is to pay for a checked bag or carry-on. This price skyrockets to up to $65 at the gate, which is sometimes more than the flight itself. In order to avoid this and save the most money, I recommend treating Spirit Airlines as an airline that's ideal for trips of five days or less. That is because you can use a smaller piece of luggage that measures no more than 18 by 14 by 8 inches for free. Try either looking for a small underseat luggage or use your backpack to avoid any luggage costs with this airline. Number two, snacks and refreshments. This is one that can be easily avoided. I always try to bring snacks myself to avoid paying overly expensive costs of them at the airport. This is also true for Spirit Airlines in-flight food as they are quite pricey. Want something to drink? Bring an empty water bottle with you when going through security. When finished, find the nearest water fountain to fill up your bottle. Number three, pay for a better seat. Let's be honest folks, the seats on Spirit Airlines suck. To avoid having to sit on basically a cement block, pay extra for either an emergency exit row seat or a quote unquote big front seat. The latter is Spirit's equivalent to a first class seat. You do not receive any extra amenities, but you do get 36 inches of seat pitch instead of a measly 28 inch seat pitch. Much more comfortable. The prices of these big front seats range from $25 to $175, typically based on distance flown. It's definitely a worthwhile investment. So these are the three biggest complaints typically leveled at Spirit Airlines. With this airline, you must be prepared to read the fine print before flying with them. It will save you the frustration in the future. For more information about what was talked about here, please see and refer to the links below. And of course, if you like these videos and want to see more, click the subscribe button and the bell icon for future updates. And as always, thanks for watching.